Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Those of you that are joining us here also on Periscope, uh, we have breaking news as of right now. I wanted to real quick just share this with you. The Kremlin on their official page has uh, have released uh, a statement of what was actually spoken about in the conversation between President Donald Trump and that of President Putin of Russia. And, um, of course, being in the Russian language, what we did, I threw it in Google Translate real quick. Uh, my wife does speak fluent Russian as well, though, so it's not that we don't already know what is actually stated there. But uh, at least the Google Translate gives you a decent idea of what's being said here. And although the Kremlin is not specifically saying that that, that Russia will, uh, excuse me, that Putin, the Trump will lift the sanctions, it is a clear indication that the sanctions are going to be lifted uh, based on the, the information that the Kremlin has actually released. And I feel like that that's a pretty safe assumption and perhaps President uh, Trump uh, feels like that this, excuse me, President Putin feels that this may be something that President Trump should release publicly uh, himself. But let me just share with you what it translates out to. Vladimir Putin congratulated Donald Trump, official assuming office, and wishes success in his future activities. Activities. During the meeting, both sides had shown a disposition to actively work together on stabilization and development of Russian-American cooperation in constructive, equal, and mutually beneficial basis. Uh, thoroughly discussed current international issues including the fight against terrorism, the situation in the Middle East, the Arab-Israeli conflict, the sphere of strategic stability of non-proliferation, the situation around the Iranian nuclear program in the Korean Peninsula. Also, they touched upon the main aspects of the crisis in Ukraine. It was agreed to establish a partnership cooperation in these and other areas. At the same time, highlighted the priority of joint efforts in the fight against the main threat, international terrorism. The presidents called for the establishing of a real coordination of U.S.-Russian actions in order to defeat LIH and other terrorist groups in Syria. It stresses the importance of restoration of mutual beneficial trade and economic ties between the business communities of the two countries, which could further stimulate progressive and stable, stable development of bilateral relations. There you go. Sanctions are going to be lifted. It is obvious without a doubt. Uh, Donald Trump asked to convey the wishes of happiness and prosperity of the Russian people, noting that the U.S. people are sympathetic to Russians and its citizens. Vladimir Putin in turn stressed that Russia can experience similar feelings towards the Americans. He recalled that our country for more than two centuries America supported was her ally in the two world wars and now considers the U.S. as an important partner in the fight against international terrorism. Again, I state, it stresses the importance of restoration of mutual beneficial trade and economic ties between the business communities of the two countries, which could further stimulate progressive and stable development of bilateral relations. If that's not lifting sanctions, I don't know what it is. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for those of you that have joined us here on Periscope as well. Uh, appreciate you tuning in there. Those of you on Israeli News Live on YouTube, if you happen to want to check us out on Periscope, it's easy to find us. We're on Twitter, and our, of course, our Twitter name uh, is Israeli News Live at Stephen Denoon. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.